We are on the cusp of Google I.O., which is Google's big event in San Francisco at the Moscone Center to bring developers and fans in to see what's new. I'm Dan Farber from CNET, and I'm joined by our Google correspondent, Seth Rosenblatt. Seth, what do we expect that will be new from Google at this event? Sure. Well, let's uh, recall last year's event where they demoed uh, the then new Google Glass with an extreme sports demo. They uh, had some some guys uh, jump out of a dirigible and uh, uh, wingsuit down and parachute down to the roof of the Moscone Center. Um, it was high drama. Nobody knew what was happening. It was all done over Google Plus Hangouts. Uh, it was uh, crazy is, is a word that I think you could use to describe. So are they going to go crazy again this year with some I, I major... I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I think that was, uh, I don't know if it was a one-time thing, but there's no way to really top that, and this year they're not even going to try, I don't think. Um, we do know that uh, they will be giving away some swag, as they have in years past, and uh, that swag will probably include at least one Android device. Um, it's not really clear from the rumors whether it's going to be a new version of the Nexus 4 or whether it's going to be an entirely new phone. Um, we do know that uh, there will not be a revamp of the Nexus Q, the strange little media ball that they debuted last year and uh, bombed just as badly as Google Glass soared. What about the um, Motorola acquisition? Isn't there supposed to be some new Motorola phones, mm -hmm. a Motorola X? Mm -hmm. uh, there are. They've been rumored. Uh, there's been no indication if that's going to be one of the giveaways or one of the announcements. Uh, it would be a great time for Google to do that because for the past 12 months, people have been scratching their heads going, why on earth did Google buy Motorola? What have they done with them? Uh, it's been a very uh, uncertain uh, acquisition for the company. Now, Android is... I don't know, something like 750 million phones out there, mm -hmm. something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Um, is the operating system, there's something called Key Lime Pi, is that going to be shown at this event? We think that there's going to be Key Lime Pi shown at the event, but it could also be a, a simply a minor point update to the current version of Android, which is called Jelly Bean. So we could be getting Android 4.3, uh, or we could be getting uh, Android 5.0, which is Key Lime Pi. What about uh, Google and its competition with the iPad, you know, all, all the different kinds of Nexus uh, tablets? Mm -hmm. The uh, Android uh, running Nexus 7 tablet could uh, receive an update as well. Um, one of the problems uh, with speculating about Google is that they could really take things in so many different directions because they have their hands in so many different pies, not just Key Lime. No, oh, that's a good one. Um, what about gaming? I've, mm -hmm. I've heard that there's a rumor going around that, that uh, Multiplayer gaming is something that Google is now going to get into. Yeah, it's, this is probably the worst kept secret about this year's Google I.O. Uh, if you look at the schedule, there are uh, gaming developing uh, development events all over the schedule. Uh, there is definitely some kind of Android uh, play gaming uh, uh, thing coming. We don't know exactly what form it's going to take, uh, but it looks like a massively multiplayer online gaming uh, network will be coming to Android. And do you think that they would be doing a, a console of any kind or just going to stick with the kind of hardware they have now? That's a great question. We have no idea. They could be doing a console. Google uh, really surprised everybody last year with Glass, with the Nexus 7, um, uh, with the Q even, even though it was a failure. Uh, so they could be doing a, an Android-focused hardware console. Uh, they could also just do something where that, that allows current Android phones and tablets that are out there to be turned into the console itself. Now, Google now has been a big hit, as you just said, mm -hmm. and uh, it's on iOS, it's on Android. Mm -hmm. Do you see it moving to the desktop? Absolutely. Uh, a few weeks ago, Google uh, surreptitiously released an add-on, only in Russian, uh, that turned Google Now into uh, your Chrome's homepage. Um, something like that could very well be coming. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they announced it. Google Now has been a huge success for the company. Uh, people have responded very well to the cards layout. And uh, it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me to see more card style action in other Google services. So what's coming up uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, when Google I.O. opens? Well, we've got uh, some CNET TV editors doing a pregame uh, before the live blog. And at 9 a.m., we are launching our annual live blog of Google I.O. This year, it's a uh, three-hour keynote format as opposed to separating the keynote over two days. So it's going to be a long one, but it should be a lot of fun. Thanks, Seth. Thank you, Dan. For CNET, I'm Dan Farber. Thanks for watching.